Hello, vinyl community, and hello, Richard. Aka Calvin Vasu, and this Sapa dude is celebrating 400. So today's video is for you, my friend. He wants us to show a few albums, answer a few questions, and of course I will do that for you. The first question is, is show us your wirest or most obscure stuff that you have in your record collection. And I was flipping through and I found actually one really obscure and it's a pretty wired um, concept of doing a compilation but um, it's pretty cool. This one, this record is not a 7 inch, it's a CD actually. Um, this is a record that is called The Great Northern Compilation. And this is, a, you could say, a handmade job. Uh, there's 150 of these. And this 7 inch has the CD attached to the vinyl. That is pretty cool. Uh, this compilation comes with um, a few extra inserts. I will show them shortly. Um, first you have a small little note, uh, like a thank you note. The man behind the compilation. And then you get a few cards of the, the one that are including, like this one. This is Eric Enoxon. You have a, a bit of liner notes. And then you have another picture. This is... Uh, Detective Biron that includes with two tunes on this compilation and here you have a band called Ass also includes two tunes on this one and then you have a signed card with Gösta Bjerling's uh, Saga that also have two tunes on this one so it's uh, eight tunes with um, four bands on this compilation it's pretty cool and um, I could say that this is the uh, obscure one so question number one I hope you like that one next question show a record from an artist band or region that is not widely known so yes I have to show something from Sweden and I will go with this one this is actually Gösta Bjerling saga and uh, this is uh, Awesome stuff. Uh, you could say it's um, uh, it's instrumental from the beginning, and then play some um, obscure, sappa-like, progish um, rock uh, with pretty cool melodies, without uh, getting cheesy or so. But they are really, really good. You should uh, absolutely check them out. Gösta Bjerling Saga. I will put a link below with the, the things I show, of course. Uh, next uh, question is, um, show us your favorite record from a band artist that you really like. It doesn't have to be your favorite band or artist, just a favorite release. And um, I, I have to say, this one has been spinning a lot lately at home. It's... Um, EST or Esbjörn Svensson's trio. This is um, three guys where Esbjörn Svensson is uh, the piano player and this is um, jazzy but very softish, very, very melodic and um, it's a great uh, Sunday record. And uh, Esbjörn Svensson is uh, um, he's the the main man who writes all the tunes and um, plays, of course, the piano. And um, he actually passed away a few years ago in a scuba diving accident and only turned 40 something years old. And that's pretty sad, but um, they managed to put out some really great albums during their active years. So, EST. Next one. Uh, show us the latest discovery, either band, artist, or a new label that you discover or both. 
I will show this one uh, on the label World Circuit. I found this shaky endiguelo lo. Not really sure how to pronounce that one, but this one is uh, his debut and he's a Senegal guy that um, is um, I could say fantastic world music um, and I really love this debut and it's released on the world circuit and um, this is like a, uh, how shall I say it it's like a, it's like a hybrid between um, African and Cuban rhythms and then you get this dude. And it's pr produced by Jason Dool. And this dude is one of his findings. It's, so if you are into world music or African rhythms. Or like Cubans or whatever. This could be right in your alley. I love it. And the last one. The bonus questions. Show a three-sided album. And I will do that of course. And I have the Norwegian Orobrot and the Norwegian Gothic. Um, this is a three sided, as you can see. You have A, B, and C. And the vinyls are in uh, fancy colors. And I will show you the, the side four. And as this one is clear in the middle, it's pretty hard to see, but it's etched. And it's pretty neat. Indeed. So, Richard, my man, there you have all the questions answered. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my entry. And um, keep the record spinning. And good luck with the contest. We probably will soon have a contest of um, 500, I guess. So, take care. And have fun. Fridas.